Welcome, welcome to Women to Crypto. I'm your host, Carlos. Today, I want to talk about the trading volumes on Bitcoin exchanges. This is the amount of money that moves through the exchange in a 24-hour period. So if you buy crypto, that counts as volume. Or if you sell crypto, that counts as volume. If you trade one crypto for another, that is also volume. So you'd expect to see volumes pretty high. But as you're going to see in this video, they are ridiculously high. And we're going to get into exactly why that is in this video. Our sponsor today is America's Card Room. And they're bringing an absolutely massive online poker tournament to us on July 16th with $5 million in guaranteed prizes and a $1 million for first place. Put your crypto to work at America's Card Room and make your way to the top of the $5 million Venom Tournament. So this website is coinmarketcap.com. You've probably heard of it. it, shows the different market caps of different cryptocurrencies. But if you click on the price of Bitcoin, you can see all of the different exchanges that trade Bitcoin sorted by volume. Now the star star here means that even CoinMarketCap doesn't trust these numbers. They're not including those in the total trading volume on the site. But if you look at some of the ones that aren't marked star star, they are still absolutely ridiculous. If we scroll down here, let's take a big exchange we've heard of. Take Binance, for example. This is definitely a top 10 exchange. It comes in at number 39 on this list because there are so many inflated volumes that are listed above it. Scrolling down a bit more, Bitfinex coming in at number 77. Bitfinex is a huge exchange. They're not the 77th biggest exchange in the world. They're much, much higher than that. But because the other exchanges are inflating their volume, it's pushed way down the list here. We've got Coinbase Pro at 110. Once again, absolutely ridiculous. Coinbase Pro is much larger than that. So what's going on here? Well, there's two things. First of all, if trading fees are zero, it's very easy for a bot to just trade with another bot and just kind of move money back and forth, there is no friction on the exchange. So volume can get ridiculously high and it's not representing economic activity. But secondly, these exchanges are very opaque. We can't see into them. There's almost no regulation around how they report these numbers. So they can actually just make up volume and put trades on the books that didn't happen. Now they want to do that because that puts them higher on these kinds of lists and makes them look like a bigger exchange so other coins will want to get listed with them. So it's basically a competition between exchanges to inflate their numbers and give out ridiculous volume. So when you look at Bitcoin trading volumes, keep in mind that most of them are fake. If you have any questions or comments about this, feel free to post them below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.